Hello, I'm Scott Duke, and welcome to Food As I See It. Hello, I'm Scott Duke from the Food As I See It blog, and we got What We Ate Week going on this week here at Sync Lab Media. It's our sponsor for today. This is Darnell Week at Rockfish Seafood at Mockingbird Station. And as you see, I have a different co-host with me today who joined along with me on Friday. This is Mr. John Limberopoulos. Different co-host. I'm just a different date. The one that you had the last four days, I guess he uh, he actually figured it out. So when you needed to, your bride ran away, so you called the bridesmaid to sit in here. Okay, I'm glad to be here. I I don't like to go by myself. (laughs) Uh, This is Checkout Friday. It's Rockfish. And this is Darnell Week. Again, we come in to this establishment quite frequently and John's there frequently also and we just kind of said let's check out Friday we're just checking out the week we're going to end the week what would be a good thing to end the week on again you know I I always like to challenge Darnell and one of the things I really have not ever really put any effort in is their sandwiches and if you look at this on their digital footprint online they don't have anything on the menu so I just asked Darnell where are your sandwiches I know you got a burger you got a poor boy, but isn't there anything else? And he goes, oh, yeah, they're not on the menu. So you got to ask for them. So that's what I did. I checked out Friday, and I asked for a sandwich. Surprise me. Darnell came out with a tilapia sandwich. Now, John, you reacted the same way when that thing came out. It, was, it, looked, it looked like half a whale. It did. Uh, it was an enormous huge, portion. Yeah, Huge. I had to eat it with a fork. So anyway, it was great. It, it, it's one of the things that I really like about rockfish is that you never know what you you know. You do kind of know what you're going to get because you know it's going to be quality. It's going to be fresh. The fish was just really thick. Um, it, I had it lightly blackened because I'm not really into a lot of heavy spice. So they did exactly the way I like. They put it on a poor boy bun, which is a French French bread, which is very tasty. They bake it there, and I had my rock and green beans with that. So it was a very 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 good meal, and it's only eight ninety nine. So I ended my week with a really outstanding sandwich. John, you had to have been absolutely full after that thing oh, too. Man. That was a boatload, boatload of food. Um, I did the Darnell special, and what's neat about this is you guys actually introduced this to me when uh, when we go over there to eat. This is their tilapia special of the day, done Darnell style. And what's neat is it's kind of flash fried in a panko breadcrumb, so it's not chicken fried, right? It's not just grilled, it's kind of halfway in between. They topped that off with a couple of, uh, of shrimp. Mm-hmm. And then I finally gave in to the rock and green beans mm-hmm. as well. And I gotta tell you, that was, a, uh, that was a good choice. And that meal, for eight ninety nine nine 9 bucks, fills you up all day long. Oh, so man. great quality, great food. The Darnell Special, Tilapia Special, way to go. And the reason why it's called Darnell Special because he has a special way he likes to he he eats the meal too, and it's a it's a kind of a chicken fried uh, tilapia that it's not on the menu. It's just one of those things that's customizable, so it's a great yeah. Got to ask for it. Got to ask. It's a great way to end your end your week is to try out the Darnell special. You got to stop by Rockfish at the Mockingbird Station. It's a great place to eat. Great healthy place, inexpensive place for lunch. So stop in any time. And while you're at it, I want to stop by Sync Lab Media, who's sponsoring us this week, and come by and talk to us. We'd love to talk to you anytime you need you have anything as far as video. Hey. So let's wrap up the week. Thank you so much. I'm Scott Duke with the Food As I See It blog, and we just finished What We Ate Week. Thank you very much. Food As I See It.